Hello, good afternoon. My name is Franklin. I am the Bokeha artist. Um, so today I'm going to make do something different. I'm actually going to draw a scenery. Um, I actually done this before with the sketch of the town, but that uh I don't consider it, uh, uh as a as a scenery me as a, as in a scenery series because back then I did not create that playlist so this is something this is kind of official so I'm gonna do something similar to that I said that I'm gonna use watercolor instead of uh, just the the color um, I'm very excited to do this it's, it's gonna be a challenge so um since the video is gonna be kind of long what I'm going to do is I'm going to break it up into parts. I don't know exactly how long it's going to be, but depending on how long it is, the, the whole thing is, I will break it up. I'll break it up into segments and uh, I'm going to upload them at the same time. And then I'm going to upload the whole thing afterwards. Yes, uh, just for those people that like to watch, but that want to watch it, the whole thing straight or those that want to watch a little bit at a time. So that's what I'm gonna do. Sorry about the background noise. And the landscape's gonna be urban. So I think I'm thinking of it being like more like a New Yorkish kind of scenery. So they gotta we're gonna have building, fire hydrants, you know, those things. <laughs> so let's get started. Player one. Okay. Okay. So, I'm gonna go ahead and head to the drawing guide. I'm so sorry guys for the background noise. My apologies. Okay. Okay. So in order to make this work, I'm gonna need more than one perspective, more than one point. So this is what I'm gonna do. Yes, I'm gonna bring it out of the other other page like this. So that way I have an idea of uh, a little bit of depth. As you can see, the perspective having the two points. Not only do I get depth, but I also get height. And for me, that's that's really helpful to me, cause um, it it saves me the it, it saves me the trouble. So that's I don't know if you know that trick. I don't know if it's if a lot of people use it, but but that's what I usually do for my scenery. So now I'm going to start doing the street. Uh, I'm not gonna do much talking. Uh, I have the feeling that some of you might find that frustrating. I'm sorry, but I'm. I I'm sure a person that have many that have many things to say, but when I'm actually oh, yeah, when I'm actually doing something, for, that requires my focus, uh, I I I I will I tend to go very quiet, but I will be saying thing uh, some things every once in a while. So, what I'm doing right here, okay, no hold on, let me start from here. Yeah, that will make it so much cooler. I don't want to emphasize the street too much. I want to emphasize the building. So making it look tiny like this gives more gives more focus to the buildings. So okay. Oh wait, hold on. I'm forgetting something. I gotta draw the sidewalk. <laughs> so let me just do this real quick. There you go. Okay. This is this is the pre-sketch stage. Right now I'm just throwing things around randomly. And I really I don't really care about the details right now. Just putting everything in place. 
which is what I'm doing with a marker, with a blue marker. Once I'm ready to do the final, uh, the final sketch, I use a studio pen with the black ink. That's what I usually do. And by the way, how I I did not prepare for this video beforehand. I just I just started recording. That's how I usually do things. <laughs> if I start preparing, I will never make the video. Okay. So, I mean, the buildings are not gonna be the same height, of course, but this gives me an idea of how much space a building is gonna occupy, which is very important because, you know. Um, so, I have a problem now. Now I need to worry about proportions. <laughs> I cannot make a window bigger than a door. I cannot make a door so big that it looks like it's something else. And also, the in the background are other people. So, a lot of things to think about when you're drawing. So let's see. Um, so I see the door is about this big. The doors are about this big. Yeah, that should be good. Yeah, yeah. I think I think that way. Yeah, that gives me some kind of reference. So. Perhaps I should make my pen thinner. So also I need to figure out how many windows should I put in each floor. For example, I think I should have four. The thing with buildings that we gotta keep in mind is that they're very asymmetrical. Meaning that everything needs to be aligned which is why I always found it a challenge to draw buildings. But I want I really wanted to draw buildings today. And that's why I'm going to do this. Okay. We are good so far. Okay. Can I make the windows? Too big. Cause a human eye can notice patterns and you know if something doesn't fit it's not if something is it's not like the things around it we're gonna notice that and although I'm not very a perfectionist when it comes to drawing I actually think that uh, well a perfect drawing is very good to the eye a perfect asymmetrical drawing but that's out of my possibility even when I try very hard, uh, it, it doesn't work out. So, I feel that... I feel that... Uh, having these imperfect lines, imperfect, imperfect shapes, is part of my style. I'm not really concerned about it no more. Because I know there's some amazing artists that never there to show the drawings or to get them out or publish them because they feel that it's not good enough it's not perfect and that was my problem for a long time but now I'm, I'm not I'm not worried about that no more if I'm constantly worried about how good my drawings are I will I would have never made the, the channel I would have never made the Instagram I would have been sharing nothing so okay something this is a bit no. I, I shouldn't. I shouldn't have this like that. Yeah. And something. Something's not right. I don't know why is it not looking. Perhaps, perhaps I, I am. Hold on. Okay. 
Okay. Yeah, it's looking better. Yeah, the wind, the windows in here in the top, don't look as good. They don't look like they are, are in the building. Strange. Hmm. Maybe if I. Yeah, I know what the problem is. I know exactly what the problem is. Okay, uh, that makes it look slightly better. Slightly. So the window should be a little bit bigger here because it's closer to the camera. If you can hear me breathe, I'm sorry about that. <laughs> As you can see, I have a cold. I, it was raining the other day and I got exposed to the water, to the rainwater. So, and also I'm expecting to not be feeling very well because today I took my second dose. <laughs> so I should be feeling under the weather. Maybe tomorrow, maybe later today. Sorry, I'm scratching my arm. <laughs> that sounded so bad. <laughs> This building is obviously going to be tinier. So let me zoom in. This is a 18 by 18 canvas. canvas. I use the word X a lot in my accent. I tend to um, pronounce the X a lot even when there shouldn't be an X in the sentence. So... Uh, for example, I say you supposed to say canvas, or but I say canvas. It's weird. English is not my first language. I was been told about that. That my accent is weird. Before it used to make me feel offended, but now not anymore. I don't really care. I try my best. This one was a bit too long, but I don't mind. That's something, that's something I could leave there. And not all the windows are gonna be rectangular. I'm gonna play with the shapes a little bit, just a little bit. Make sure that the windows stay in the building now that they pop up. So let me see. It's looking alright. This is gonna be a tall building. How many floors does he have? Let's see, one, two, three, four. Oof. Okay, this one, I let me. I'm gonna erase all of this. This is not good. <laughs> let me tell you what's going on. You can see that this building only has well, 
Let's see what a uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. Six, seven floors. This one had that many floor plus more and just around here. So no, that's I cannot have that. It needs everything needs to be proportionate. So and this building is not another big eh? compared to the ones in Manhattan. And although I'm taking inspiration from the Bronx, this doesn't mean that this place exists. I, I did not look at any pictures, I just do it for imagination. So, yeah. It's looking alright so far. I cannot wait to see the final product. In my case, I, I, I'm gonna have to turn to the whole process. You could just skip. <laughs> yep. So, if you're feeling curious how this is gonna look and don't wanna stay uh, for the whole video, that's totally fine. I don't blame you. Don't worry. You can skip. You can skip and. Leave a comment, hey Franklin, that's the reason I'm drawing that. I like it. Oof, you see this? Not good. This windows, the, whoever, whoever places windows, didn't know what they were doing. <laughs> so, yeah. Okay, yeah. I'll fix the one in the final in the final stage in the final sketch. Also, another question, another decision I gotta make: Should I put uh, screen tones in here? No, I don't think so. I only want to include them black and white drawings, and since I'm using water paint, I should just color this buildings in the back with a darker tone. Yeah, I think that should that should be fair. Oh, too long. At this point, I'm not even drawing squares, I'm just drawing lines. Why? Because it's far, it's far, it's far into the drawing, so the eye is not really gonna notice uh, that. You see, they, they look, even though they're just little scribbles, they look like they're windows from, from here. You're not gonna be looking at it from here, you're gonna be looking at it from around, around this, uh, this, this point right here so i'm not really worried about like yes i would draw the square the the rectangles i mean the but i'm not really too concerned about the shape oh. oh wait hold on and then there's this space right here, you know what? I'm not even gonna do nothing here. <laughs> it's not worth it. <laughs> okay, back to the other side now. So what you guys think so far? So once I'm done with the pre-sketch, I should get started with the final, with the final. Well, this is, this is gonna have three steps. The pre-sketch, which is this one. Then I'm gonna go over with it, and then, then the, there's the paint. Normally, uh, in my drawings, it's usually two steps: the pre-sketch and then the final, the final, ink, the final um, drawing, the final sketch with the ink. But since I'm using color here, not I don't I don't use it very often, but since I'm using color here, uh, water paint, 
de Fabián esos datos. Oh, fue hasta que no estábamos en el Final Drone already. This one should be the most comfortable building that I, that, that I could draw here. I'm gonna do it a little bit faster now. I'm sorry if I go quiet. My bad. I don't wanna make this boring for you. So. There's still a lot more details that I wanna add. Eh? Like, for example, the, the fire escapes. Honestly, I'm more excited about the, the, during the fire escapes than anything. <laughs> I don't know why. I don't know why. I like them so much. I think they make the, the buildings look cool. My opinion. Oh, and one more thing. I'm gonna draw the bricks. <laughs> so, yep. If you wanna skip, do it. <laughs> We are almost done pre sketching. As you can see, drawing these windows is very repetitive. It takes time. But you can already have an idea of how the final drawing should look like. to proceed to do the fire escapes on each building so let me see how I'm going to do that uh, I'm starting to feel under the weather <laughs> I can really feel the side effects of the vaccine kicking in um, hold on I should draw like this
Uh, they lo- these look more like balconies rather than fire escapes. So I need to make them a little bit more. It's fine. Okay, so. Okay, uh, can you see it? Yeah, let me make it darker. Something like this. So your fire escape uh, will make it look cooler. <laughs> so. Okay, I don't need to be worried about the details that much. Can you see? Um, I don't. Need, you don't. You don't need to worry about making each detail when you're pre sketching. You just, you just uh, draw some lines that will represent the object that you're drawing at. You see, it will usually it give you the the impression of it. So wait, hold on. I'm not done. Let me reposition my tablet. Okay, so. I just a bit concerned about when I'm doing the final drawing, how this is gonna translate. I'll do my best. I'll do my best to make it look as believable as possible. Okay. Let's zoom in over here. Yeah, so I'm already feeling I'll be under the weather, but I'll do my best to at least finish the pre sketch today. I'll at least do that, make that effort. Okay, so. Oh, I thought that was a whole building. <laughs> okay. The further away from the screen that I get, the, the less worry about the details I need to be. As you can see. Looks good. Looks good to me. here too so and this I guess of scary this is this should be good 
Eso es lo que la cae y tiras. To me it feels very familiar. I live in New York. I don't know if I ever mentioned that, but yeah, I live in the Bronx too. Somewhere in the Bronx, I gotta say where. Somewhere. Wait, hold on. I'm becoming lazy. Now I'll draw those ladders. Yeah, like I kind of got lazy in this part right here, so okay, let me get let me get back to my senses. <laughs> okay. We're almost done with the print sketch. I know I said this before, but we're almost done. Oh, and this drawing I'm gonna post on my Instagram. So, watch out for that. <laughs> okay. My opinion is looking very good so far. But this is gonna be so hard to water paint. I'll see what I can do. <laughs> okay. Okay, yeah. Here I don't need to worry much about depth. And the advantage of drawing the fire escape is that I will not have to draw every single window. So, kudos to that. <laughs> Yeah, once I finish with this, I'm gonna go rest. Okay, so I'm not quite, I'm not done just yet. Sorry, that sounds scratchy. <laughs> that sounds so bad. Okay, um, let me add some details here. Like a fire hydrant. Let me add it. I should make this a, a different, I should use a different color for objects. And let me make a different layer. So, yeah. Okay. 
That's a lot of, that's a lot of fire hydrants in here. Let's see, what else? What else could you find in New York City? Neighborhood street. Let me use a trash can. No. Think of, think of the trash can. <laughs> uh, I don't know. Light poles? Looking good, looking good. I like the direction where this is going. Okay. What else should I add? I live in New York. I should I should know this. <laughs> so let me see. Uh, I will add trees, but no. No. I should grab trees. Because this place is too small. We have fire hydrant here. And also people. I'm not gonna draw cars because the street's so narrow. This this is definitely a one way street, but the only reason why I'm not gonna add a car is because I don't know how to draw cars. <laughs> I really don't know. Like I read I draw the cartoony cars. Like, you know, the I don't know if you can see what I just drew, but yeah. I'm not even gonna try. That's a practice for another day. Oh, let's see. Should I add this? Hmm. Should I add the clothes hanging? That will make it. Uh, that will make it. That will give it such a realistic thing. Uh, I'll show you. So. Like. Hmm. I don't know. I think I. I think I gotta go with this. Why not? I mean, nowadays they use laundromats. You you just dry your clothes in the laundromat, and but for aesthetic reasons, for some reason drawing clothes hanging on top of buildings it makes drawings look good. <laughs> in in my book, <laughs> don't ask me why. Don't ask me why. Cause I don't know. I don't know. I mean. I I have gone to some places where they still have it, but there are very few, very few places that still have clothes hanging like that. Wait, shh, is this, is this even legal? <laughs> Should clothes be hanging? No, they usually hang in between buildings. Yeah, so this doesn't make sense. You know what? For today, I will scrap the clothes hanging on the buildings. Uh, for today. Just yes, for today. <laughs> Next time, I'll draw them. That'll be another video. For another day. So, let me see. I'll draw a sign in here. Uh, I think I'm just about done with the pre sketch, but I'm gonna add another layer for character for people. So, for example, Yeah, 
this class. What's the point of having buildings and street lights and all of that if there's not gonna be people? I mean, as far as I know, buildings are built for people, so. I just turned to be funny here, right here. And I'm feeling at it. But the people should come in last. So. Looking at this pre sketch should give you an idea of what the final product will look like. Of course, this is not the final drawing, but I do a lot of I I, I put a lot of effort into making my pre sketch look like they will do in the final drawing. That way, I don't have that much thinking to do. But in reality, there's a lot um. The next part will be the longest part because I'm going to be drawing the, the bricks in the buildings. They're not going to be that detailed, but um, I'm going to end the video here. I'm not going to upload this separately, so you'll be seeing, uh, you, you'll be seeing all, all, all parts. Uh, I'll, I'll put that at the same time, and you can watch as uh, whenever you have the time. So thank you so much for watching.